Hey everyone, Michael Martin from Yahoo Esports here, and I am joined by Brad Scarvon uh, via Skype, and we're here to talk about, of course, this huge announcement that went out earlier with Echo Fox signing a bunch of players, including yourself. Um, you know what? First of all, let me ask how you're doing. I'm um, doing fine. Not 100% yet, um, but uh, I'm, I'm ecstatic about everything that's uh, happened so far. Today has just been wild, man. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm taken back by the whole thing, man. It's, it's great. It's great to be a part of this. Before we get into Echo Fox, I know that you have been going through some um, personal health issues, and I know a lot of people mm -hmm. probably may not know about it, uh, but yeah. I know also a lot of people have reached out to you for support. Um, I wonder if you just might might want to comment a little bit about about what's going on with you and yeah. uh, and update us. Okay, so uh, what I'm dealing with is uh, I don't know if it, I think it's like a muscle disease. Uh, it's called rhabdomyolysis. Um, I've had it. Well, a lot of people don't know about. I've had it twice for. Um, this is the third time that I've had it. Um, the first time um, I didn't know what I had, so I kind of waited. You know, guys, men in general tend to be. You know, we don't like to go to the doctor unless, you know, we feel like we're going to die. You know what I'm saying? This like, is true. So I waited a, a long time. You know, I thought it was just going to pass over and it, I got worse. Um, and uh, by the time I went to the hospital, they said I probably had like one or two days before, you know, I would have been like, like out of there. Um, so uh, what, it, what it does is uh, the body basically eats away at itself. The yeah. muscle tissue cells break down and release protein into the bloodstream. And the body doesn't like that at all. The internal organs doesn't like that at all. So, uh, you know, this protein, which is released into the bloodstream, threatens to shut down the kidneys and, I guess, uh, also other organs. Um, so what they do is, uh, in the hospital, they treat it with sodium chloride, mm -hmm. and they pump it pump it through, you know, throughout my body to try to flush out um, the protein. So um, it, it destroys my muscles. So I, I still have limited movement, but I'm able to get around more than I, I was in the beginning. So I was in the hospital for 10 days. Uh, I went wow. in Christmas Eve. Uh, I just got out yesterday. Um, and I just, I, I want to say, man, I got a lot of love when I went to Twitter and, and told everybody <laughs> what was going on, man, I got, I got a ton of love. So um, I just want, I want to thank everybody for the prayers and support and, you know, just the love that everybody showed me. Uh, I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, when we got word that Echo Fox wanted to do this announcement and that you were included as part of it, uh, we weren't sure that we were going to get to talk to you. So mm -hmm. Uh, I'm glad you're home. Uh, I'm glad things are getting better, and of course, I hope things get uh, improved to the point that you know you'll be in in top form as out there competing. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, let's talk about Echo Fox. You your your prior team was Panda Global, um, mm -hmm. and you had a pretty good run with them. Yeah. You're probably one of the I think top two or three players in Mortal Kombat X. Uh, of course, with your teammate, your your rival, and, and, and now teammate, Sonic <laughs> yeah, Fox. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Really want to talk about, though, what, what prompted you to make this change to Echo Fox, and, and why are they the right fit for you? Um, Actually, it's crazy, because uh, when Sonic announced that he was leaving CR, mm -hmm. uh, I, I DM'd him on uh, Twitter, and... Uh, <laughs> And I was like, hey, man, you know, I know a lot of people are, are hitting you up, like sponsors and stuff yeah. like that. I know a lot of people are hitting you up. I was like, how is that going? And he was like, yo, I need to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? He, he's like, yo, I, I got something big brewing. And uh -huh. then that's when he had told me that, you know, um, that, that I might be, you know, I might be joining Echo Fox. And I was like, yeah. what? Wait, what? What? So, um, you know, we, we talked about it. And then, um, you know, in the coming days, Echo Fox reached out to me and, um, you know, I was just thinking, like, this is a great opportunity because in 2016, um, my goal was to be Sonic Fox. You know, I had right. always felt, you know, I was on his level, you know, that I can, you know, surpass him. And, you know, in SCR, you know, I finally did that. Um, mm -hmm. I finally beat him and went on to win a tournament. And, you know, that was like the best feeling because he had been my tournament demon for so long. <laughs> um, and, you know, just just to be a part of the team and be able to be, you know, we were rivals. Now we're teammates. Now I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm able to pick his brain because he's a, he's a young prodigy, man. He's yeah. he's the best of the best when it comes to uh, the NRS games and he, the multiple games. You know, he, he can he can win in multiple games. It's just how he is. Um, now I can finally you know sit down with him, pick his brain, see how he trains, um, see what I can improve on, and how I can be right there and uh, and and win just as much tournaments as he can, and and, and just uh, go beyond what I am right now. You know, so I'm glad that. I can share that same uh, team with him and, 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 and just, you know, pick his brain and, and, right. and, and keep going. So this feels like a major step in your career. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, how do you feel like you're going to take advantage of, of being on a team, you know, full of superstar players? I mean, not just Sonic Fox, obviously, uh-huh. but uh, Justin Wong's, Momochi's, Tokido's, uh, MK Leo, of course, uh, you know, a seemingly a prodigy in Smash 4. Like, how, how are you going to take advantage uh, of this situation? Um, man, that's, that's yet to be seen. Uh, these guys are legends, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm just humbled to be, you know, in, in the same spotlight as them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Uh, you know, I definitely want to, you know, reach out to those guys and, and get to know them better, you know, because, you know, before this, uh, we really haven't talked. So mm-hmm. in, in the future, I plan on, you know, sitting down with each one and, uh, you know, talking to them, becoming friends, coming to get to know each other better and um, just see what, what makes them them and, and why they're the best of the best, man. And hopefully yeah. I, can, you know, learn from them and apply that to my game. Yeah, I was going to say, what What else is it? What do you feel like you bring to the table? What can you offer uh, these players um, as opposed to, you know, what they can offer you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, I've been doing this for a while, man. Um, you know, I just, just, this didn't just come about, you know, I've been sure. playing for like probably five years. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm very consistent um, when it comes to winning, man, like, and, and when it comes to achieving goals, like, I, I'm very, very persistent, man. I'm, uh, I work hard, you know what I'm saying? And I think Sonic Fox and Justin Wong sees that in me, you know, yeah. they know how hard I work. They know that I'm out to win every time I go out. They know that I'm a very strong player. Um, any game I touch, I feel like I can be the best of the best. Um, my mentality, I feel like it works just like them. You know, I can, yeah. I can, I can make those big wins. I can beat those big, those big players and, and they see that. So that's, that's what I can bring. That's what I can bring to the table. Uh, so let's talk about uh, Echo Fox. Uh, I guess maybe a little bit more on the the business side or the maybe, maybe the brand side of things. One of the things I, I, I've talked about with some of the other players is growing the player's brand as well as Echo Fox. Mm. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish to kind of because because we're seeing this trend as as players are starting to recognize their worth as as the as a brand. So what do you hope to accomplish to uh, with Echo Fox to help build up your brand? Um, man. See, I, this is this is this is stuff that I have to sit down and think about. Um, Cause you know, before I joined Echo Fox, you know, I was just, I was doing my whole streaming thing, and uh, you know, I, I have yet to do like the whole YouTube thing. Um, mm-hmm. So hopefully, you know, they could point me in the direction and and help me grow those side of things. Because right now, mostly I'm just doing like the fighting game side, and I haven't really right. just touched on the the media side of things. I know a sure. lot of people want to see me do that. They want to see me do the YouTube. They want to see me do the tutorials. They want to see me do all that. So um, in 2017, I'm really hoping to uh, branch into that side of things, to the media side of things, and, and growing my my name and stuff like that um, by doing that. Right. Uh, looking at some of your other teammates, we know that some of them work full-time, uh, you know, like Justin Wong. Uh, some go to school, like, uh, of course, Sonic Fox. Um, when you look at 2017 and like you just described the, the things that you, you're kind of hoping to accomplish, uh, what changes sort of in your life? I mean, signing with Echo Fox is a big change. Yeah, so yeah. W- what are some of the things that will change, uh, like as far as maybe traveling, uh, where you compete, how much you compete? Uh, can you talk about that? I'll be traveling a lot more mm-hmm. um, uh, than, I, than I did in the past. Uh, you know, before... Um, you know, the Panda Globals and everything like that, you know, I was working at a chemical plant. Um, and, you know, I talked to a lot of people there. Um, I told them, you know, hey, this is what's going on. I'm, I'm doing these tournaments. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm making this amount of money, more so than I was than I was making at the chemical plant. Right. And, uh, you know, I felt like, you know, this is something that, um, that I should pursue instead of, you know, just, cause when I was working at the chemical plant, I, I wasn't able to attend tournaments and stuff like that. And it was just really prohibiting me from doing what I love to do. So right. I, I told myself, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take the risk. Cause you know, I feel like life is all about risk. If you don't take the risk, man, then chances are you're not gonna get where you wanna be. So, um, you know, I, I left my job at the chemical plant and, you know, started to, you know, go to tournaments, the ones that I wanted to go to. And, um, you know, I, I started seeing results. By doing that, man, you know, I grew my name and, uh, you know, people started taking notice. That's how, you know, I got the sponsorships that I got, right. you know, and eventually within a, a year's work, here I am, you know, with Echo Fox. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, man, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh, 
you know, Echo Fox, first of all, everyone loves uh, that a success story, right? Like follow, follow your dreams. Um, yeah. I think the reality of the situation is not everyone can sort of uh, get what they want uh, yeah. in life. So yeah. it, it's great that you, you took that leap. And of course, if you believed in yourself um, that, you know, it's working out. Uh, fighting games obviously are getting bigger, um, mm-hmm. especially in esports. And I know that Echo Fox wants to take the FGC to sort of new heights. Uh, in your mind, what do you think you can do uh, alongside the team to help accomplish that? Um, win, <laughs> win. I, I know, I, I know that's Winning not, helps. <laughs> yeah, I know that's not what it's all about, but uh, yeah. you know, um, you know, that's a big thing for me. Also, um, you know, whatever I can do, man, whatever they need help with, um, yeah. you know, I'm here. Uh, just show me the ropes. You know, show me what I need to do. Um, show me how I can better the team. And, you know, I'll do it. You know, I, I, I got a lot of time on my hands. You know, this is yeah. what I do. This is basically uh, a career now, you know. So, um, you know, any anything that I can do to help the team, man, you know, I'm down to do it. So let's talk about games. We we know, of course, you have a, a great history in Mortal Kombat X recently. Um, I know you've been out to, to California a lot for, like, Pro League and, and of course, uh, you know, numerous other tournaments, EVO and whatnot. Yeah. Um, Injustice 2 is coming sometime soon. We're not sure exactly when, but it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I imagine ESL will focus on that uh, in, in the future as well. Do you plan on sort of s- switching over or do you, is your focus going to be on Injustice 2 or do you, do you want to still kind of maybe uh, keep, your, keep your hands in both games, MKX and Injustice 2? Um, I'm, that's a good question, man. I'm, I'm hoping that um, you know, our community can balance both games. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing with our games, man, it seems like it, it, it never lasts more than two years, and I don't know right. why. Um, you know, I would like to see that change. I would like to see both games running um, side by side. Yeah. Uh, I'm still, uh, you know, I'm going to be going in in Injustice 2 because, you know, it's a new game. First <laughs> game it's going to be a lot of competition, going to be a lot of new blood. So, yeah. um, you know, I'm definitely going to be playing that. But, you know, I would like to see um, Mortal Kombat. Uh, still be in the spotlight and hopefully we can get a combat pack three because i know ed boone was teasing on twitter and asking people what would you like to see in a combat yeah. pack three and stuff like that so um yeah i, I would I, I would hope that you know it 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 lasts well into two, uh, 2017 and um as far as uh, other games besides nrs games you know mm-hmm. i was playing um street fighter oh boy <laughs> for, okay for for you, you uh, got nice, some good uh, nice some some good uh, 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 training partners in Street Fighter. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, you know, I might have to get back out. There. I was playing Armika. Uh, that's when she was, you know, brain dead. They, okay. they nerfed her now, <laughs> but um, you know, we got a lot of powerful Street Fighter players on the team yeah. now. So um, that might be a game that I'm I'm looking forward to probably jumping back into. Um, okay. it, but I don't feel like it would hurt. Um, besides I that, about Marvel. It, uh, see, I played Marvel. Okay. Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Okay. But it's, the mix is so crazy in that game. <laughs> it's like, I, and that, it, it's all the, the flashy lighting. I, like, I, don't, I can't keep up with what, what's going okay. on on the screen sometimes. But Infinity is a new game. Um, of course, like, like you said, we're going to yeah. have some powerful hitters on the team. Yeah. So that's going to be a game, a game that, I'm, uh, that I'll probably dive into and, and see how I do. Okay. Okay. Uh... You mentioned, you know, possibly getting into uh, Street Fighter. I I know that when we, I, I don't know that a lot of people quite understand what it takes to play different fighting games. Yeah. Um, someone like Sonic Fox kind of makes it look easy, right? Yeah, it's um, very hard. Skill, <laughs> skill wise, it's they're different games between Street Fighter, uh, NRS games, of course, like you just described, Marvel. Uh, what do you think? T- what do you think it takes for for someone? Like him, like Sonic Fox, or or like yourself, uh, if you're looking at playing new games, to kind of succeed at, at different games. I, I know there's a lot of fundamental, uh, a lot of things that are fundamentally the same. But what do you think it yeah. takes to really succeed in different games? Um, in my case, I feel like any game that you play, um, and it also depends on, you know, if the games, the two games that you're trying to play, are out at the same time, mm-hmm. but it's, it, it might, take it like this. And if I'm playing MK and I've been playing it for so long, you know, I basically know everything. I didn't did my yeah. homework. I didn't, I didn't study matchups. Now I can kind of take the time away from that game and focus on something else because I can always come back to that game and I know everything about that game. Yeah. So, you know, um, 
you leave that game right there, and then you have enough time to learn this new game, and you can put all your time into that and study and matchups and stuff like that. And I feel like that's what uh, probably what Sonic Fox does. You know, he even though he doesn't stream a lot and people really don't know his you know training method. Sure. I'm pretty sure he puts a lot of time into the game. He breaks down yeah. everything. Like this guy, when I be playing him, he'll tell me frame data on stuff that I that I didn't even know he had frame data on. I don't know <laughs> how he does it, but he does it. Um, so I mean, I feel like he plays those games and he breaks them down so fast to yeah. where he, he doesn't really have to put that much time into them, and he can just focus on this other game if he wants to play it and break that down as well. So um, that's what it comes down to. How fast can you learn? this game and everything about this game before you move on to this one or right. you could try to you could try to do you know both at the same time but chances are it's going to take longer for you to be the best or one of the best in that game yeah i mean i feel like sonic fox might be a, a, a sort of an exception to the rule um but a couple more questions for you do you feel like uh it actually is better for for a player to focus on maybe one game over another I mean, um, for, like for you personally, what what do you think works for you? Uh, is it better? It depends on how well you're doing in that game. Sure. You know, um, if you feel like you're doing well in that game, then sure, you know, why not go ahead and focus yeah. on a different game? But if this is the, if this is your main game, if this is, if this is the game that you love playing and you want to succeed in chances are you might not want to take your time away from that game in yeah. order to study this game, you know? Uh, but if you feel like you're doing well, hey, why not? Go ahead. Try that other game, you know? Um, of course, you're a top player in this game already. You, you, you've, you've achieved your goals in this game. Right. In, in this main game that you play right now. So, um, yeah, uh, that's, 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 that's how I feel, you know, it should be. So speaking of goals, um, again, you're with Echo Fox. Uh, mm -hmm. You got Echo Fox made a big splash uh, yeah. with these, with this signing, uh, big target on their back now. Target on your oh. back too. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, you're part yeah. of this. Yeah. <laughs> what are your goals or expectations for this year? Um, goals, expectations. Um, to uphold why I was selected, first mm -hmm. and foremost. Um, Do you feel like you, you know, have something to prove? Uh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I still okay. have a lot to prove. Um, okay. um, my end game would be though to, you know, get to that point to where one day I won't have to pick up a controller. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and I'm hoping that, you know, in my time at Echo Fox, uh, you know, they're able to show me that road, that's th those possibilities. Right. You know, I'm here with these these big wigs, uh, not just the players, but, you know, uh, corporate-wise. You know, yep. maybe I can talk to them and they can, you know, put me on things business-wise and, um, you know, just grow my brain mm -hmm. from – you know, not just being a player, but to thinking outside the box, you know, yeah. so that's, that's what I would like to do. Um, you know, I'm not just in it to, you know, play the game. I want to, I want to rub elbows. I want to, you know, meet the people who make, you know, Echo Fox tick and, 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 mm -hmm. and, and just try to expand myself, man, and expand my knowledge. Yeah. Well, Scar, uh, of course, uh, I'm, I'm happy that we got a chance to talk to you. Uh, I'm glad that things are, of course, uh, getting better for you health-wise and, and professionally. Uh, I'm sure you have no complaints at this point. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, happy to talk to you. I wish you all the best uh, in 2017 and, and really looking forward to you and, and the rest of the team competing this year. So thank you for uh, talking with us today. Thank you so much, man.